Hello Oncers, today I'm going to be reacting to Miss Mojo's latest Once Upon a Time video. Top 10 Missed Opportunities of Once Upon a Time. To be clear, the first time I reacted to a Miss Mojo video is under a different title called Top 10 OUAT Moments Reaction. Here we go. Agree. Number eight, Mr. Hyde not sticking around longer. Yes, definitely. Come on, there was so much more that could have been done with these characters. Seven, Henry's love interest. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> this is the same people who called them cute. So they were one of the cutest couples. kind of dropped the ball when it came to Henry's romance with Cinderella. I've heard this all season. I don't want to hear it here. Their relationship just felt too safe and boring. Or a series known for taking chances that Henry arguably had better chemistry with Drizella, aka Ivy. With number six, Maleficent's relationship with Lily. I'm not here. Yes, to pray. I wish we could have seen and more. At least they got to be reunited. We never even find out who Lily's father is. We do though number in the five, finale. This was this. This video went up Friday morning before the episode aired. The worst of all, once Rumple returned, the writers could never figure out what to do with his character. <laughs> just shifted back and forth between being good and evil depending on what the plot required of <laughs> number four characters not getting a proper send-off series introduced several characters who never got a proper ending Cases like jefferson or because a performer was in high demand That's right. yeah like jefferson just look at sebastian stan who went from playing the mad hatter to becoming the winter soldier Mulan in particular should have stuck oh around gosh. Yeah, Mulan didn't get her happy. We never got to see her get her happy ending. Number three, underutilizing characters from Wonderland. They all would have been welcomed additions to the regular Once Upon a Time cast. Yeah. His knave of hearts popped up in season four, but he was basically treated like a pawn. Sadly, yes. They had plans for him, but they couldn't get Emma Rigby on the show. Jafar's so kind of. Season six was number two. Mulan, Aurora, and Philip's love triangle. I'm not gonna let him face that. Mulan could do better than Aurora. Bad warrior. Stood up. Are a few honorable mentions. Oh my gosh. I know, we never see them again. Number one, Emma Swan being truly evil as the Dark One. Emma. Dang. I still hear about this like every day, people saying that this should have been Part of what made more. Once upon around with the notions of good and evil. She instead acts like one of those angsty teenagers who just thinks they're tortured and edgy. Sorry. Do you agree with our pick? Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below. I post videos on Sundays and Fridays. Comment down below if you agree with this list and what maybe you think some of the missed opportunities were. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.